to describe what I feel at the present moment, two words are sufficient. Gratitude and humility. Gratitude, first of all, in relation to the members of the Security Council for the confidence they have expressed, but also to the General Assembly and to all member states for having decided an exemplary process of transparency and openness. And gratitude towards my colleagues, the different candidates that have shown with their competence, uh, with their intelligence, with their capacity, uh, an enormous dedication that contributed a lot to the uh, credibility of the United Nations. I was moved when I saw the Security Council able to decide in unity and consensus, and to decide in a very quick way. And I hope this represents a symbolic moment, a moment in which the Security Council enhances its capacity to act in unity and consensus, created the conditions to decide uh, timely in relation to the dramatic problems of our time. Gratitude, but also humility. Humility when facing the dramatic problems of today's world, and humility that is needed to serve, and especially to serve those that are most vulnerable, the victims of conflict, of terrorism, the victims of the violation of rights, the victims of poverty and the injustices of this world. And also the humility that is needed to recognize the inspiration that comes from so many workers of the UN and uh, its partners that are doing everything they can in the most dangerous areas of our world. I am now recommended to the General Assembly, but I am not the Secretary General. The UN as a Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon. And one, I want to pay tribute to Ban Ki-moon. And I want to appeal to all member states to strongly support him in his actions and in his initiatives to make these last months of his work a complete success.